right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Kavita Master Brew Kombucha. So usually I don't like kombucha, but I did try another kombucha that was like a mango something, and that was really good. So we're going to try this and see how it tastes. So normally this is $12.59. It was $4.20 off. So that is, what is that, eight, uh, $8.39, I guess. If I'm doing math wrong, I'm sorry. But it's $8 something. All right. And I think there might be, is there CRV on this? Uh, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say CRV. Interesting. Did I read the wrong thing? Twelve fifty nine, four twenty off. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, there's CRV. So an extra thirty cents. So it depends where you live. California charges five cents per bottle. All right. Anyways, here you can see Kavita Master Brew Kombucha, sixty calories per bottle. All right. You can read all that stuff. Six glass bottles. Live probiotics, non-alcoholic. Pineapple, peach, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Okay, there's the expiration date here. So we bought this in, what is it, March? So um, that's what, five months? Okay, then you got that. Same thing, not much. You got the barcode. Um, and they write the nutrition facts and stuff up here with the ingredients. <clears throat> okay, hopefully you can read that. All right, and you got certified organic ingredient. Um, it doesn't say anything about allergies, so you'll want to read all the ingredients to make sure you're not allergic to anything. And yeah, perishable, keep refrigerated, gently pasteurized, lightly carbonated, swirl gently. So let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm only going to take out one because I don't need to take out all... Well, I guess I'll give one to people that are waiting to drink it so they can try it first, I guess. Okay. And we'll just take out one bottle here for the review and set that aside. Let's go ahead and lower the camera a bit here so I can see better. Okay, so we got this bottle. Ooh, Kavita, same exact information. All right, same nutrition facts. It's closer now, so hopefully you can read it. I know it's a little blurry. There we go. Okay, same thing. Live probiotics added. You can see the California CRV. You can also see the expiration date. So all the information they have outside is also inside. All right, you go. You can read all of this if you want. Go fermented kombucha culture, gluten free. Taste guide: light and refreshing, bold and smooth, or sweet and tangy. So this is bold and smooth. All right. So we'll see. All right. So we got this. Let's move this back up. All right. So the bottle has it looks like a plastic cap. And you have a heart on the bottom. I thought it was a recycle thing, but it's a heart. Okay, so it says swirl gently. I already flipped it upside down, so it's probably screwed up, but whatever. Hopefully it's not going to explode. Let's go ahead and open this. Okay, it's not too fizzy, actually. So it didn't fizz out like a soda would. Okay, cap has that plastic inside. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Maybe let me get a clear glass bottle so, or cup so I can pour it in so you can see the color. Okay, so we got a clear glass cup. We're gonna go ahead and pour this in just so you can see what it looks like and how fizzy. As you can see, it's not fizzy like a soda. Like it's nowhere near <clears throat> as fizzy as a soda when pouring it out, but let's go ahead and taste it. I mean, it's all right. I can taste the pineapple. But it's getting to that fermented where it's gonna get a little bit, almost a little alcohol flavor, but not really. So if that's something you like, I don't like alcohol flavor, but I mean, this one's not bad compared to other kombuchas I've tasted. The mango one, the I think it was called Hum, Hum Mango something. So if you look up that video, I have a video of that. It's like H-U-M-M -M Mango Kombucha. Um, that one was good uh, compared to this. So um, this one's not bad, as I said. So if you don't like kombucha, you can give this a try. You might like it. <clears throat> um, but this is more uh, getting closer to the types of kombucha that I don't like. But it still has a flavor that is that is good. So, hmm. And everyone's tastes differ, of course. Some people like the kombucha that I hate. So you never know. If you like kombucha, give this a try. It does have a pineapple smell to it. I don't know if I taste peach in here. 
If if I was given a blind taste test, I would definitely say I tasted pineapple, but peach, I don't know. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's the review. Again, there are six of these bottles, and yeah, it's on sale at Costco right now. So if you see this and you want to give it a try, go for it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. What do you think? To me, it tastes similar to Sprite. Sprite? It tastes like Sprite? Okay. You want to try? You want to try? Yeah, it tastes like Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like it. So, oh, so my brother likes it. He said it tastes like Don't Sprite. Try it all. Okay, you don't want to open I'm a brand so new one. I'm not said it tastes like Sprite. Do you like Sprite? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'll have a bottle. Okay, I'll take okay it. give CJ. See, they like I'm going to try, no, try. I'm going to try. <laughs> no, you don't like it. Okay. Good, good. Good, eh? Yeah. It doesn't taste like Sprite. <laughs> it does, to me, it tastes like a pineapple, maybe a little bit of pineapple like in Sprite. What? It tastes like rotten water. Rotten <laughs> water! <laughs> okay. So we got, we got, we got a little bit of pineapple flavor, we got Sprite flavor, we got, oh, I don't like it, and we got rotten water flavor. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye.